Welcome to the new section Understanding Dask Data Frames. The first topic in this section is Introduction to Dask Data Frames. Going forward, we'll be covering the following topics. First, we'll understand the idea behind Dask Data Frames and then we'll discuss some features of Dask Data Frames. So let's get started. So, what exactly are Dask Data Frames? In a nutshell, you can think of Dask Data Frames as parallel version of Pandas Data Frames. Just like we had multiple NumPy arrays inside a single Dask array, we have multiple Pandas data frames grouped together inside a single Dask data frames. So you can see from the image that a single Dask data frames consists of multiple Pandas data frames. In this case, say the Pandas data frames. In the image, you can see that a single Dask data frame comprises of multiple Pandas data frames. This is similar to the image which we had seen in the Dask Arrays uh, video where the single Dask Array comprised of a grid of NumPy Arrays. Dask Data Frame can parallelize operations over uh, data frames by making use of multiple cores on the system. One thing to note here is, which we'll try to cover in the subsequent videos, is that the partition size plays an important role in determining the speed up that can be obtained while performing computation. Now that we have an overview of Dask Data Frames, let's discuss with the various features that it offers. Just like other Dask collections, you can parallelize execution of computations by utilizing multiple cores. One of the key features here is that the Dask Data Frame API is similar to the Pandas Data Frame API. So it's easier for anyone using who has used the Pandas Data Frames API before to use the Dask Data Frame API. There are a few exceptions here and there, but uh, the API is mostly similar. You can also load larger than memory data frames using Dask Data Frames. One thing to note here is that Pandas Data Frames would simply give you a memory error in such cases. Also, we'll see in the subsequent sections that uh, we can also distribute our computation across a cluster as well using Dask Data Frames. Quick recap of what we have learned. Dask Data Frames is simply a parallel collection of Pandas Data Frame. We can even load larger than memory data into Dask Data Frames. The API for Dask Data Frame is same as the Pandas API with a few minor changes here and there. For reference, you can refer this link for more information.